Uh, in this lesson, uh, we are going to style our settings page. Okay, getting uh, to look more like that. Okay, so let's uh, let's get started. So the first thing we'll do in our CSS is create a new file, settings.css, and we want to attach our settings.css here. Okay, so that's good. And now the next thing we want to do is start styling stuff. So settings row, um, we want to draw uh, draw a border. Uh, the base will be one pixel and it will be E, E, E and solid. And we want to set padding would be 10 pixels and margin will be 10 pixels. And let's see what we've done. We have our border is drawn and we have a padding and margin separating just fine. So it looks the same. Okay, so now the second style we want to apply uh, is setting row. So the header, we want to push everything down just a little bit by uh, three pixels. And we also want to set the font size uh, to be 16 pixels. All right, so this is where we are styling uh, settings row H3. So that's fine, reset the page, and that's there. Okay, so we want to draw attention to our headers um, by fading the subheader. So I'll go settings, uh, P, which is the subheader, make it 999, and that is that, so that's done. Okay, so what should we work on? So uh, this we want to work on our select field. So see, so what's happening here? So when we resize, we want it to respond uh, to different sizes. So when we're viewing it on a big uh, on a monitor screen, we want it to be small. So we'll use our media. So I could say for everything uh, greater than 480 pixels. I'm going to have uh, a class, a small input class that should have a width of 80 pixels. Okay. Right, so if I come down like this, I want it to uh, become 80 pixels. So to do that, I'm going to attach this small input class um, here. Uh, to our class, okay. So that's the post per page. We want it to have a default value of ten, and also I want to attach it here, prevent commenting, and also here tag visibility. So it will be ten now. So resetting the screen is above. Uh, so that's ten eight pixels, and then when we resize it, it goes back to in full width so so that's good so mobile device it's easier to click on all right so we are we have a bit of time so we're going to do a little bit of prep work for our dashboard so this is what the dashboard is going to look like an overview of our entire admin system so let's see if we can do something so if we're going to our index which we've done a while back uh, minimize the side menu so minimize the header okay so we are going to make um, a content area so we could put some things into it so we we'll call this a uh, dashboard uh, container okay and within it uh, spell dashboard incorrectly okay so now within um, our dashboard I'm going to uh, make some class rows and columns in preparation. So we're going to have a, a left and right column and then a, another column below, which will be full um, width of 12. So this is left and this is right. So this, sorry, this is two rows, top row and bottom row. So in the top row, we are going to have two columns. So class, column MD. So this will be six, takes off half, and another six to take off the other half. 
So below we are going to have a new one, a, a full one. So I will leave that for now. So we'll start working on the top left and then we'll go to the top right and so on. So if we reset this page, obviously we'll see nothing. So we've done the prep work to start working on our dashboard. So I'll see you in the next lesson.